Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lurch and welcome back to my Iron Man account. Uh, last episode I got massive agility gains all the way from 10 to 70 and I got a lot of quests done. Now sitting at 77 quest points uh, along with a lot of magic levels. 40 free prayer finally which opens up a lot more things for me to do. 29 smithing, just overall massive gains. So um, I think from here I'm going to pick it up where I left off and do some more questing. So I will cut back with some more quests. Just completed fishing competition, one step closer to Barrow's Gloves. Also got 27 fishing from that. Def Plateau done. This should be some nice XP right here. Elemental Workshop 1, done. What have we got? 28 crafting, very nice. And 32 smithing, awesome. Here is Elemental Workshop 2. Complete. Should get a few more levels here as well. 36 smithing. 33 crafting. Awesome. There's another RFD subquest complete. Should get some slayer levels here. 13 slayer. Nice. There is Demon Slayer done. There is the Corsair Curse. Right about now. There we go, Pirate's Treasure. Done. And there is Prince Ellie Rescue. Shield of Arrow down. Hey, this should be nice. I've had one range the whole time on this account. Just finished Horror from the Deep. So. This dude's finished talking to me. 20 range straight off the bat. That's good. 49 Mage. 36 strength, lovely. Now uh, I'm gonna go clean up all them books. I will be back. So I've never actually bought all the books since the update where they made that available. How do I do this? Too easy. Nice, all right, there's the six books. Just gotta fill them up now. Also, a big part of the reason why I've done this quest is for those range levels, because I've had this clue for a little while now, and I needed five range, and I figured, well, I could just easily go and train it, or I could just do some more quests. So, hopefully I'll be back with a casket. Alright, easy clue number three. All I can really hope for is a page. Or teleports, they work too. Oh, pesking, okay, maybe not. <laughs> just got to reprogram this dude, and... There it is, the golem. This should get me a crafting level, I think. Yep, 34. Very good. Let's pickpocket this mug real quick. And there is Creature of Thank and Strain. Done. Should we get a thieving level? Yep, 32. Lost Tribe and 99 quest points. Should we get a couple of mining levels? Yep, 20 to 24. Nice little ring of life there too. Here's clue scroll number 4, I think. Oh, trimmed iron kite. Oh, some nice tellies there. I'll take those. And here I have casket number five. And I don't actually think I mentioned why I was doing uh, clue scrolls, but I'm trying to get all the hand pieces from thieving the female hand members for uh, Death to the Dog Shoon. So I'm getting uh, a few caskets along the way. So number five is... Trash. Casket number six. Horrendous. Casket number seven. Oh, another unique. I'll take it. Easy clue number eight. Rubbish. Finally got two sets of ham robes, so this will be the last casket for the time being. Hopefully not page one. Ah, nice. So I got two pages of the ancient book now. Lovely. I remember when I was like 11 years old playing this game and just seeing these robes and just thinking they were awesome. It was the first thing I wanted to do as soon as I became a member. There is Death to the Dorgashoon complete. Should get me some more uh, range XP. And a thieving level, nice. Yep, 20 to 23 range and still haven't touched it yet, so that's pretty awesome. Also just hit 100 quest points. And there is Nature Spirit. Should get a couple of levels here as well, I think. 35 crafting and 32 defense. 
really close to hit points level as well. Just about to finish up with observatory quest. It should be a crafting level, I'm pretty sure too. Yep, 36. Nice. What was my reward I got from that? Free tuna and a sapphire. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, and after the longest cutscene ever, there is the giant dwarf. Now, look at all that XP. Surely I get some levels here. I pretty much have to. 27 mining. 37 smithing. 37 crafting. 38 thieving. Wow. <laughs> Look at the chat box, just full of levels, that's awesome. So that is the giant dwarf done. And here is making history. Should be another level here too. Yep, 38 crafting. Nice. I can yeehaw. There is Tears of Guthix. Here is the very first ever Tears of Guthix run. Probably be horrendous XP, but we'll see. Not bad, 860. 6 to 11 rune crafting, I'll take it. This should be the end of another quest right here. Jungle potion complete. Should get a couple of uh, herb levels here as well. Nice, 14. Sweet. Now this is well overdue, but i just done a bit of the uh, ham storerooms. So I can finally get myself a nice amulet of strength. I probably should have stuck around and got the amulet of power now I think about it, but um, I'll go do that at another date. And also finally get myself a amulet of magic. So with that, I think I might push on to Shiloh Village. And there is Shiloh Village, all thanks to Slayer Music. God, I'd be lost about him. Should get a uh, crafting level here, I'm guessing. Oh, two, sweet, 39. Lovely. I want to get 42 so I can do the... Um, is it Pirate Pete? Pirate Pete subquest for Recipe for Disaster. And there is Shades of Morton. A few more levels here as well. 40 crafting and 20 herb. And I'm getting owned by a shade. Very nice. And there is the dig site quest complete. Got a lot of XP for that one, so should get a fair few levels. Well, I only wanted 30 mining and he got me up to 36, so that's good from 27. And 20 to 23 herb lore. Very good. I wanted to get that mining level because I wanted something. I was watching a lot of Grimm recently and I can't watch any because I haven't got any AFK skills to do. So I thought I want to get a skill like an AFK. So uh, Motherload Mine might be inbound soon. That's if I can even do it. I'm really not sure on the requirements. I'm pretty sure it's 30 mining. Fucking get out of there, Zedic Job! It's oh. a close one. Yeah, the boys. Fuck yeah. Another slice of ham done. Another quest done. Uh, more levels, I'm assuming. 37 mining. And that's it. Nice. I'm not really sure what's happened here. I was just, just about to come here and start the uh, Klein of Karen quest. And he's given me a beginner clue scroll. So I'm not sure... How I got that, but um, I'll be back with a reward from that. And there is Client of Karend. Done. I will gladly take... Oh, I forgot what this book does, but I'll gladly take these lamps. And if I've seen any progress videos, it always says, put it on her blow. So, I'll follow suit. I will follow suit. And I'll grab level 25, thank you. I can clean Renars, very good. And while I'm here, may as well open up this beginner casket. I think all I really want is the parrot. <laughs> oh, seven laws will do too. Also, I never mentioned what uh, favour I'm going to throw it on. But I'm going to put it on Piscarillus. And then I'm going to go ahead and do Queen of Thieves now to get me up to 30%. And then I might just pump out 100% after that just so I can get um, Anglerfish in the future. Because I did go from... 9 to 15 Hunter, which I thought would take me 2 seconds. It took me like fucking 45 minutes. It was not enjoyable. So, yeah, I think I'll do this Queen of Thieves now. And then on to 100% Piscarillus. And there is the Queen of Thieves. Do I get a thieving level? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I do. 39. Nice. 
I'm um, pretty sure that's a memoir for the for the book for a teleport. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. Pop me up to 30% favor, and then yeah, I think I might just push out 100%. So I've just polished off 100% Piscarilius favor, so that's now complete. I've got him signed up to help on the sculpture, and um, apparently there's a fishing shop that you needed 20% favor for. I'm not sure. I'll oh, just over here by the looks of it, and they sell our uh, shark and stuff. So I might go suss that out. But um, also now I'll have the ability to get anglerfish whenever I get the fishing level and the outfit. So that'll be very good for the future. Yeah, so this is the fishing shop I was on about. Uh, very good for Iron Man because it actually sells shark if you need to do a boss or a request or something. You might need some higher tier food. And as you can see, it only costs 200 coins, <laughs> which I was not expecting that when I come here. But um, I don't know if it stocks any higher than four, but you know, either way, it's still really good. All right, there should be some good XP right here. Just finishing up Shadow of the Storm. I think I got a fraud on range. 10k range XP. I still haven't even trained the skill yet. And I'm up to 32 and I haven't touched it. How good. There is the fabled monkey madness complete. Oh, it feels good to get that done. Almost had a couple of dramas, almost died a few times, but <laughs> just got out. Now let's uh get those XP rewards. A big part of me really wants to use it on attack and defense so I can Wield that dragon simi a bit quicker and get a torso a bit quicker, but uh, yeah, I think the probably the correct thing to do would be put it on strength and hit points. So I'm gonna get ahead and do that. I was 49 combat before I done this, so let's see what I get to. And my stats at the moment too. Oh, look at those XP drops. <laughs> 45 strength, 46 hit points, 48 attack, and 40 defense. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Now, combat from 49 to 56.98 as well, so I'm just about 57. Oh, that's unreal. Alright, I'll be back with the Dragon Sim. Now, I've been waiting for this moment since I very first started my account, and it's a big step for all Iron Men, I think. It's getting that very first... Oh, Dragon Sim in the inventory. <laughs> Feels good, man. Feels good. I'm so glad I don't win to top first, too, and I got all this cash to, to spend. And um, it's sort of inspired me now, because I just hit 40 defense. I sort of want to go get some uh, better gear. So I'm thinking maybe a torso up next. But uh, I'm going to go splash out on some rune legs as well, I think. So I've just gone ahead and purchased some rune legs. It's not like 64k or something. Pretty expensive, but uh, well worth it. So it's uh, testing out, eh? Oh yeah, they look good. Also just realized that I haven't even changed my character back to a male. I might just uh, rock the female. Why not? Alright guys, and with that, I think I'll end the episode. Uh, massive gains all around again. Pretty much basically all from questing. Uh, I would be very, very lost about Slay Music's quest guides. But uh, yeah, huge gains in all my levels. Pretty much every skill. Uh, also, quest points now sitting at 125. And for the first time ever, I've got a pretty decent idea, idea of what I want to do next episode. And that would be to get full melee, just the outfit going. So I want to get some better gloves. So I'll be questing as much as I can for all combat stats. And then working towards Barrow's gloves. I doubt I'll get Barrow's, but working towards them. And then I'd like to be able to wield my rune simi. Ah, uh, fucking, what's it called? Dragon simi, rather. I want to be able to get a defender, torso, and a uh, helm of, it's called? Berserker helm. I want to have all that by the end of next episode. So anyways, I know I've been keeping these pretty short, like just over 10 minutes, but I figured, you know, that's about as long as you'd like to hear my voice before you get over it. So um, anyways, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you in the next episode.